60 years ago, a violent sandstorm uncovered an ancient tomb in the desert outside Cairo. A British expedition set off in hope of finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. A lot, actually. The crew left after the storm. They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that... What? Well, the docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? As soon as they release me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. I'll catch you later. Talk to you later. I should try to piece the amulet back together. There's a piece missing. I wonder where the rest of the amulet pieces were found in the tomb. something that will help me solve this. That's it! Now if I only knew what it meant. It's still sealed! Oops. Whoa! What are you doing? I think we found the tomb. I've got to see this myself. Brilliant! Who is that? this? Look at the hieroglyphs. There is something very important here. It's the curse. Everyone get out of here. Oh, if I can just get this light to turn back on. Now! Whoa, you cannot go back there. Hi, Nancy. Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant... The American team, which is just you. Sure, I don't mind. Good. For now, you can look around if you want. Just don't screw anything up. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Bye-bye. See you. Part of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. Great! I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs. The flashlight isn't working. Can't use my phone here. A lamp! Great! I can't use that now. I wonder if I could find a way to light. Can't use my phone here. Okay, 
Hey, if I can't, this is not the best place to make a call. What would, this is not the best place to make a call. The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. Shh! Do not tempt the Anunnaki. Though, what? I should not have even spoken their name. Disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Oh, blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. Bye. Goodbye. Ah, you are still here, darling. Oh, you couldn't drag me away. But uh, if you don't mind, I prefer Nancy. I prefer the distinguished Dr. Raccoon. It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. So I must know, are you very brave or just very stupid? Oh, I'm not afraid of a curse if that's what you're getting at. It is. But you still haven't answered my question. It oh, I'm very brave. This is something the truly brave never say. What do you think of Jamila? What is to think? She believes aliens built the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. So I take it you don't believe in aliens? Let me stop you there. Normally when people say that, they have more to say. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that we invented pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Are you okay with her staying here? <laughs> no. Get out of my sight! You do not own this temple! Leave now or I will remove you myself! I'd like to see you try. She... This is not the best... That doesn't make any... That jackal symbol is at the beginning... I can't... I need to translate the hieroglyphs. Nefertari! Could this... Can't use my phone here. This is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. Looks like I need to find out who the four... This is not the best place... Hmm, maybe the color has... Can't use my phone here. I should look around for a clue... I can't use... It fits! Now what exactly does it do? I can't use that now. God, I can't use my phone here. This looks important. Foolish and irresponsible! You have no idea what you're doing! You have no idea of what damage you have done! I'm sorry, I didn't know! You didn't know? Ignorance is not an excuse! It is the problem! You are off the site! Please! I will never even come near your work again! That is like you! Don't deserve to be here! Have the dignity to admit it! I'll help! I promise! Please! I'll do anything to stay! When the transport comes, you get on it! Taking up space that a good student could be using. I want nothing to do with you. You will never have a career. Just leave! I need to figure out what this can't use my phone here. I need to get the correct gods to their proper locations. Another coffin! Can't use my phone here. This could be about the Queen's... I can't use that now. Got it. 
Hi, Nancy. I opened the sarcophagus. You did? Oh, I didn't expect you to be so excited. I doubt it has anything to do with the Anunnaki. You never know. I'll have to see this room myself. Can't open it. I can't use my phone. I need to open this. I wonder what these mean. Hello. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I'm Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, good chat. Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. I'll let you go. I'll be seeing you. I've got something for you. What's that? Proof that space girl is batty. I saw her creeping around and she dropped this. Here. It looks like some sort of code. Ooh, you're generous. I call it the maniacal screed of a madman. Or is it mad woman? Why is madness gender specific to men? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I like you. Let's shake the dust off this small time tomb off our boots and see the world together. Um, can I keep this? Yes, but you have to promise me that if it starts making sense, you'll call a psychologist immediately and schedule yourself in for a full workover. You would have had fun seeing the world with me. Admit it. Bye-bye. Hurry back now. This game looks cool. Can we play? Yes. The goal is to get all of your pieces off the board first. It's when a Nancy token reaches Drew. the last square, oh, it's removed Nancy from the board. Dear. To move, so throw the sticks. Cool. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks infinite. are dark, then you get to move this five This is Nancy. Squares. Drew. Oh, you young people are so refreshing. Always in search of new identities. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. But now I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the weather monkey keeps yelling the weather at me. Maybe you should uninstall it? I will do no such thing. That would be tantamount to murder. <sighs> Maybe turn it down? Brilliant and fantastic. Oh, yes, Samantha, you are a ticket. I would love to help you, but... Uh, how do I know you again? Nancy, Drew, we've met a few times. Aha, now I remember you. If life were a good book, you'd be my favorite reoccurring character. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Egypt? Well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. You found my book while you were in Egypt. <gasps> the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand smothered in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. Oh dear, I sign and send lots of things. Do you know anything about Nefertari's children? Of course I do. Can you tell me their names? Yes. It's best we start with the boys. Sure. There's Among Her Kepeshef, meaning Among is with his strong arm. How do I spell that? Oh dear, you get a piece of paper and a pen, and you write down whatever you like for the next five minutes. Paul Ray Hair Wenemeth. Ray is with his strong arm. Mary, beloved of Ray. Mary Autumn. Beloved of Autumn. Oh, these names. The best part about ancient Egyptian names is that there are no ancient Egyptians around to correct your pronunciation. Oh, I come back when you're ready for the girls. Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's daughters? I need you to do some searching for me. I've decided to restart my book project. Can you gather some information for me? If it means you'll tell me the daughters' names, then sure. Mutt. Thank you. I'm ready for the daughter's names now. Merit Amen, the beloved of Amen. Got it. Henatawi, the mistress of two lands. Okay. Nebatawi, the lady of two lands. So it seems favoritism isn't a modern invention. 
And the children were mentioned in order, from oldest to youngest, right? Yes. Perfect. Thanks. Bye. Bye, dear. I threw a two. Well, what does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. If you throw a one, four, or five, I think these letters will create words below. Again. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. I rolled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token starting position. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block. But you can move over. That's it. not there are it. Five special Wait. squares on the board. Maybe if I look each at the first letter of each word and see if that says anything. Square. And the token on this square Let's can't be swapped. See what this All tokens will stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. They can move past it on I their next turn. I need to figure out what Landing this on the square means. with the water sends that token back to the square with the unk. The last two are Blue safe cat. squares, can't so tokens use my can't bone be swapped. Here. Let's start a game. You can go first. It's a blue cat, just like in Jim. Can't use my almost clear. All clear. It looks like some. I can't use that now. I've got this. Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Blast! It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Pass me a torch, would you? Never mind. I've got something here. Are you okay? You just shifted a bit so you can get the pressure off. If I can remove some of the pressure, I may be able to buy you some time. Yes, if you keep doing things like that, I won't die. If I can remove five more of these rocks, you should be okay. Yeah, oh, that's it. That should hold. Stay still. I'm going to find you some help. It's okay. Everything's fine. Ow! Never mind. Everything's a problem! Call the hospital! It took the rescue team a while to get through the collapse, but they finally got Dylan out. He looked pretty bad. I hope he's going to be okay. I'm sure he will be, and there's nothing you can do about it. I know, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Nancy, you don't need to stay. I can make some calls to Kingston. We can get you out of there if you're worried. No, I'm fine. Think it over. I'm the one who should be there and I'm not. Uh, and as much as I care about keeping this site safe, it's not worth putting you in danger. I'll be fine, I promise. Okay. If you change your mind, call me immediately. I'll let you go. Bye. Hello. I think I found a new area of the tomb near the main entrance. You did? Oh. Dylan? Is that you? Are you okay? No. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too badly hurt. I'm in traction. That's pretty bad, by the way. I can imagine. Traction is bad. Just a little FYI. Courtesy of me. You sound a bit... scrambled. A truckload of rocks will do that. Amazing fact. Courtesy of Dylan. Should I let you sleep? No, no. They think I'll die if I fall asleep. So I can't do that yet. I'll be fine though. Unless I fall asleep in the next eight hours. And if that happens, pff, all the way dead. Oh well, don't do that. It is impressive how much your body dislikes having a few tons of stone dropped on top of it. Listen, it's very fortunate that I called you. Actually, I called you. No. I, I don't think so. Maybe your phone is backwards. Listen, I need to tell you something very important. Okay. When I was lying there, under all that stone, I heard a voice. A woman's voice. What was it saying? Something in an old language I've never heard before. Something ancient and creepy. That tomb is cursed. I'm sure of it. Are you sure it wasn't just something you imagined? I know I'm all turned around, but I know what I heard. Even if they would let me sleep, I couldn't. Every time I close my eyes, I hear it. You need to leave. 
I need you to try to remember. Is there anything else at the site that seemed strange? I don't know if my memory could be trusted right now, but I do remember something strange about Jamila and that weird bag of hers. Strange? How? One second, it would be empty, and then she'd reach down into it and pull something out. It was like a really bad magic trick. See ya! Later! What is this? I can't use that now. I need to find a way to light this lamp. Can't use my phone here. I need to find a way to light this entire room. <sighs> a threshold to a hidden area? I can't use my phone here. I need to find the one that weighs less. what I've learned about Nefertari's children and hieroglyphs to figure out the order. This is Hanutawi. And this must be Nebatawi. This is Mariatum. You must be Marier. Got it. This must be Amon Herkepheshef. This must be Merit Amun. This is Pare Her I can't use my phone. It's empty. I can't use. I need to piece these together. There's another tomb in here. Can't use my phone here. It looks like something is missing. All right, Cobras. Let's get you to your proper places. Translate that. Hi, Nancy. You're here because of Abdullah, aren't you? In part. I don't like him. Why? Because he's on the take. And he stages. Stages? He dumps things he has into a site to make it more exciting. That's a big accusation. I have more proof than I need. I need to know right now why you're here. I have the authority to have you removed unless you tell me immediately. You do not. You want to try me? Fine, Nancy. I'm here to see that Nefertari is returned to where she belongs. Why? Because it is my destiny to do this. Or to die trying. There is very old magic at work here. And I do not care what you believe. It is true. Ramses II. He knew the temples would be plundered by men like Abdullah. He knew the land would suffer tyrants. That she would be at risk. He had to know that his greatest love would survive all of this. He had a hidden and called upon our bloodline. Every daughter in my family must seek Nefertari, and only when the time is right will we be able to find her. Then what? Then she's returned to her rightful place, and we are relieved of our duty. When I was young, my mother died. I was told she'd been in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When I came of age, a letter came. My mother wrote it before I was born. She knew the search for Nefertari would probably kill her. That she was bound by fate. As am I. One day, I will have a daughter. 
and she will never receive such a letter. The search ends with me, not Abdullah. Do you really believe all of that? Yes. But why the fake aliens? Abdullah told the press he thinks alien followers are stupid. Stupid people are no threat to him. So you hid in plain sight? Exactly. Here, take this. This is from Lily, isn't it? Yes. That's nice, and can't use my phone here. Let's see if Destiny can't use my phone here. That is way too far. These look just like the symbol. This is not the best place to make a call. All the birds are here. I can't use that now. This looks important. Sound. I need to figure out where it's coming from. These numbers should help. Let's see if I can open it now. What a strange lock. There has to be something around to help me figure this out. What is Lily up to? I'd better take shelter in the tomb. This storm is intense. A cobra. find a safe place to keep the cobra before I do anything else. This will keep the cobra safe and out of striking distance. Nancy, things are moving. I heard the pillars moving! This place is seriously messed up. I noticed that, but I don't think we're in any danger. And you're basing this on what? Previous experience? Call it a hunch. At this point, I'd rather call it a day. I need to calm down. This is a huge opportunity and probably not a death trap. Right? Right. Can you tell me what the symbols on the Senate board mean? The special squares are the House of Rebirth, the House of Happiness, the House of Three Truths, and the House of Ray Atom. That represents the House of Water. What's the House of Water? In the desert, water is very important, obviously. But when the desert is creeping in, stripping away all of the grazing lands, the House of Water became a powerful idea. It was the element the ancient Egyptians revered and were terrified of offending. I'll let you go. Later. If I combine what Lily said, I can't use that now. Nefertari. It's gotta be. And just what do you think you are doing? Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? This whole thing with the curse. It was you. No, it wasn't. Dylan is in the hospital because of you. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. Why? I can't say. I'm not going to say. What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do! Lily, look out! Ah! Nancy! What's the matter? What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave-in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take this signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. A key? Is there a second exit? 
Yes. Here, take this. I can't just leave Lily. And you can't help her by staying. Go, call for help. If you see Abdullah, run. Stuck! Oh, there must be a way I can... I can't use... I need to find the correct head. Why do you look so frightened? The curse! It was you! Good. For once I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this. No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You'll have to catch me first. The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. More platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. You will not get away! I better not make any mistakes. Leaving so soon? Yeah. <sighs> That's that. Now come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. <laughs>